name is Tara from Fox Valley Flourish Twirling Club and we're going to go over some of the level one twirls. These are the most basic twirls that we do in level one. So the very first thing we're going to do is called a thumb to thumb pass. You're going to start with the baton, thumb to ball, big end is the ball, little end is the tip, thumb pointing up. From here, every time we pass it, our thumbs are going to come together. We're not going to flip one hand facing one way and one the other way. The thumbs always come together no matter where we pass it. So our first pass, we're starting it in the right hand, thumb to ball. We're going to hold it out to the side. We are going to bring it down low, right in front and out. Now we're going to go over the top. Thumbs are still together and out, down low and out. This time, let's go behind the back. You're gonna bring it behind the back. Thumbs are still touching. Don't flip one hand around. Thumbs together and out. Let's go behind the back again. Left hand and out. One more each way and out. Thumbs together and out. Now this time, we're gonna do it with our lunge that we did before. Step out, lunge, bring the baton behind that left knee. The thumb touches behind the left knee. Left hand comes in, thumbs together. Bring it out in the left hand, stand back up. Right lunge, baton comes behind that right knee. The thumb goes right behind your knee. Left, sorry, right hand comes in, thumbs together and up. Let's try it a little faster. Lunge left. Bring it behind, pass out, out, pass behind, and up. Another way to use the thumb to thumb pass is with our kicks. We're going to step on our right foot, kick our left. Step, when we kick, we're going to pass under that kick, thumb to thumb. Now we're going to do a right kick, pass over the head. Left kick under, right kick pass over. Our second twirl, we're going to start thumb to ball in the right hand again. Figure eights. If you've done this with me before, we talk about the ice cream on each side. We're going to do chocolate on one side, vanilla on the other. The ball is your ice cream scoop. You're going to take your ice cream scoop, scoop it in the chocolate, scoop it in the vanilla, and you're going to keep going side to side, making nice big scoops. As this gets easier and as you get better at it, you're going to make it smaller and faster until eventually your arm's not actually going side to side very much at all and it's almost right in front of you and going very fast. Let's try the left hand. Thumb to ball, free hand on our hip. We're going to start in the vanilla side this time. You're going to scoop, big scoop in the vanilla, Big scoop in the chocolate. Scoop side to side. Nice and big. And as it gets easier, you're gonna make it a little smaller and a little faster. And you're gonna keep making it smaller and faster until it's right in front of you. And those are our figure eights. Pinwheels only use your first finger and thumb from each hand and they alternate going pinch, 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 pinch. The baton is going to hold right in front of you and it's going to turn away from you as you do little pinches as it rotates. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see how the baton goes. It goes away. It doesn't come towards you. This one goes out. And I like this one because it's a nice, easy one. But it gets those fingers working. Our last twirl, we're going to also hold it in the right hand thumb to ball. It's called a wrist twirl. You're going to bring it down to your side. The ball is always going to go between your arm and your body. And the tip is always going to pass outside that elbow. It's going to turn 
comes under the arm, and then it goes on the outside of the elbow. Under, out, under, out. And just like the other twirls, as it gets easier, you're gonna start going faster and faster with it until you can make it go nice and fast down low here. From here, if you want, you can raise your arm up and hold it in front. You can bring it all the way up over your head and back down again. Sometimes we use these with little kicks or little dance steps, and we can bring it up and down as we go. And that's how these get incorporated into routines instead of just standing still and doing one twirl. Let's try the same thing in the left hand. Thumb to ball, down at the side, big end always between your arm and body, little end is always on the outside. And it turns, slow at first, and it's not going through my fingers. That's a mistake a lot of people make. You're just turning the wrist. If you hold it too tight, it's not going to want to turn. You have to loosen that grip a little bit and it'll start to rotate. And as it gets easier, you're going to go faster. And then the same thing as before, you can bring it out, you can bring it up. Ooh, I sometimes still hit my arm myself. Down, down. Going back to our figure eights. Let's make a combination. We are gonna start right hand figure eight, left foot out. You're going to do your figure eight at the same time. You're gonna do two chasses. Let me slide over. You're gonna chasse to the side two times. One, two, lunge. Now we did the lunge with the pass before. We're gonna stop the figure eight, do your lunge pass, and come right back up again. Right foot goes out. Now we're gonna add our two chasses the other way. Chasse, chasse, lunge. Stop the figure eight, pass, and bring it up again. This is why we do the body work and the twirling, and then we're gonna start putting them together. Let's try a different one where we're gonna combine our wrist twirl and our pinwheel. This is instead of body work and twirling, two twirls together. So we're gonna hold it down at our right, doing our wrist twirl. We'll count to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you're gonna bring it up and right into that pinwheel without it stopping. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then right down into the left without stopping. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are all good combinations to work on. Work on the individual skills and then try to put them together with the body work or combining one skill into the next. Good luck.